So um, this is by definition a uh, probability of uh, x is greater than s. And now let's use uh, some simple uh, intuitive example to illustrate uh, what uh, exponential distribution means. Let's suppose x is some waiting time for a customer, for example, at a bank. Um, and this means the conditional probability of x is greater than 10, that x is greater than 15. If, if we try to interpret this, uh, this means x is greater than 10. It means we have already have waited for 10 minutes uh, or longer. Okay. This means we have uh, uh, been waiting for uh, 10 minutes minutes or more. And now the probability of if we want to wait for five more minutes, this is waiting time uh, is uh, 15, let's say minute or longer. And this is the same, actually the same as x is greater than five. Uh, so this means um, the probability of you waiting for five extra minutes sort of uh, is the same thing as uh, uh, you wait for five minutes at the first place. Um, and next, we'll learn uh, two new uh, concepts before we define, formally define this Poisson process. The first one is called independent. increment and we'll see uh, this term multiple times for uh, this continuous time stochastic processes. We simply set up on um, the number of events occurred in uh, disjoint time. Intervals are independent. So for example, um, we consider um, n of t2 subtract n of t1. Uh, if we try to interpret this, this is nothing but the number of events. Uh, in during this t2, t1. And uh, um, we consider another um, two values, which is n of s2 subtract n of s1. And of course, this is a number of events. Uh, occurred in uh, S2, S1. Now, this is independent with this one if the time is T1, T2. Uh, let me say, let me use a uh, close interval intersect with uh, S1, S2, it's empty. Okay. So, next uh, is called stationary increment. It simply says the following it says a number of events. occurred uh, during a time interval. First of all, uh, this is a random 
uh, variable random number. Its distribution only depends on the length of the interval. It does not depend on when this time interval started, but only the length of this time interval. So for example, uh, n of 2 subtract n of 1 has the same distribution with, for example, n of, say, 5 subtract n of 4. 